Hello, welcome to a Math of Finance presentation on compound interest and annual percentage yield. Um, first thing we're going to do, I thought we'd just go through the formula. Um, here we have B, which represents our accumulated value. That's how much you have in the account with your principal plus your interest, referring to compound interest. Um, here, P represents principal, R represents your rate, your interest rate. N represents your number of compounding periods per year, and T represents time. Basically, you just plug it in. Um, here, we're going to look at this as a $4,000 investment at 4.5% interest compounded weekly for five years. Um, what this will give me back is a value after five years, including your principal. So let's plug it in the formula and see what we get. Okay, here are my variables plugged in. Um, 52 again, that's compounding periods per year, 52. 4.5% um, here. And here is N. N represents compounding periods per year times the number of years. That's just the total compounding periods for the duration of the loan. Okay, and here we just plug this in the calculator. Okay, um, here's our solution. Um, $5,008.830386. Um, remember to round and whenever you're dealing with money you always round it to two decimal places to hundredths place so here this is going to round at five thousand eight dollars and eighty cents um, well how much interest did he or she earn um, here we started with a principal of four thousand now we have a principal plus interest of five thousand eight dollars and eighty cents so you earned a thousand eight dollars and eighty cents okay that's it um, let's move on to um, annual percentage yield. Um, here we already have a worked out example. Um, just to walk you through, we have effective annual interest rate or annual percentage yield. Um, same thing. Um, basically what this means, if you wanted to compare investments, um, one investment is compounded daily, one investment is compounded monthly, weekly, and you want to see which investment has the higher effective rate or the higher annual percentage yield that's the investment that would be the better investment so here on the left side we have um, an interest rate of 4.5 percent compounded daily and here we just plug the information into the formula here here's our interest rate daily to the daily power minus one plug it in we get 4.6 percent round to nearest tenth here we did the same thing just plug the values in we have 4.8 percent compounded monthly do the math we have 4.9 percent so our annual percentage yield for one is 4.6 for one is 4.9 obviously the 4.9 has the higher annual percentage yield so that would be our better investment and this concludes our math of finance presentation